and welcome to a while loop tutorial developed using C sharp okay guys let me show you how this works I'm going to exit out run the program one more time there enter whatever value you want in here click on the button there we go so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together just for your information, this tutorial is at the request of one of my viewers out there. See you shortly. Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp while loops tutorial. I'm going to start by clicking on create new project. And make sure you select C Sharp, click on next. Give your project a name, I'm just going to call that C while loop. and then click on create there we go okay my development environment is ready I'm now going to go straight into the toolbox and just grab some component let's first of all grab a panel there we go we have a panel here and we need about two of those hold on to the control click and drag now back to the toolbox let's grab text box paste that here and and we also need a button one button here back in here let's grab hold of a label there we go that's the label there and finally list box there so those are the components that I intend to use I'm going to select the panel and just kind of like change the appearance let's say auto size make okay auto size is fine let's go to the border style come in here that's it border style just make that fixed 3d and change this one to fixed 3d as well oh okay fix single that's fine fix single all right so select both all the components we have on it i'm now going to increase the font size so that is readable and that's the font size there I'm gonna make the size about 18 that is fine click on OK there we go now so as you guys are aware this tutorial is all about using while loop so let's give each component a name this very button I'm gonna call it BTNY BTNY the text box is going to be called, be called TXT wire as well. The list box that will be L L S T Y. There we go. They all have a name now. And this label, I'm just going to enter enter a number there. Now. Let's double click on this button before then let's give it a name just call it while loop there we go now double click on this very button like I said this tutorial is all about using a loop and the loop we intend to use right now is a while loop let's start by declaring an integer variable in fact two of those the first one is going to be known as I and I'm going to initialize that with a zero now the next one I'm going to call that let's say Q and that will be initialized with let's say convert dot to int 32 and what we're converting in there that is going to be the whatever we have inside the text box there we go now we then use a while let's use a while loop here now then let's say why i is less than 13 okay why i is less than 13 i would like the system to do as follows if you guys look at this example here what's happening is the code in the loop will run over and over again as long as the variable is less than 13 okay now in here I intend to 
I do intend to display my the, re the result of this while loop. So let's first of all say LST dot so that's going to be LST dot item dot add. So let's change this one to add. Now the item I'm adding is whatever I have in here. So first of all, let's comment this out for now. And if I run this program now, the system should generate 0 to 12. So let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about. Now the system is ready. Just click on while loop and that's it. Generated from 0 to 12. Okay. Now let's end that. But if we say i equals 1 check this out it's now going to generate the value from 1 to 12 okay look at that 1 to 12 now why do i have this in here i just want to use that to convert the whole lot to multiplication timetable so let's take up the comment here and to convert that to multiplication timetable so this is just a bonus here. I'm going to say plus. So we enter plus plus in there. That's just to concatenate whatever we have in there. I'm going to enter multiplication sign in there. And come right here. I'm going to enter Q there. This is the Q right there. So come back down here. We now want to concatenate again. Bring this here. And let's make this equals. And here we just say i multiply by q that's it done we've just put together a multiplication timetable so what we happen in here is this we generate 1 to 12 and this whatever value you want to multiply and here both are multiplied together so let's run it and see the entire value in there and there we go and that's how you use a while loop to create a multiplication timetable okay so you see how easy that is so I'm going to just increase the size of this button one more time just to make it look pronounced to the end user so increase the font we have on that loop on that very button the font size I'm gonna make it about 36 there we go all right so let's try it out one more time there we enter 12 in there there we go so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and um, please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel so you all have a nice day now and bye for now